Hello everybody. Uh, this is going to be video 868 and I'm not sure how long it's going to be or if it would even be worth recording, but it's on my mind. Um, and I do apologize again. I use my voice throughout the day and by this time of night it's it's hurt. <laughs> I've got this COVID cough and I'm going to go see a doctor in a couple weeks and hopefully he'll go yeah, that's what you need, and, and all will be well. Um, but anyway, what I want to talk about is She-Ra. She-Ra. Um, <clears throat> in 1985, Season 1, Episode 15 of She-Ra, The Return of the Seahawk is the name of it. And what I want to kind of hit me. I was watching it tonight, okay. Not like I have that good of a memory, but... Um, so at the beginning of the episode, um, She-Ra and Madame Raz and I think it's Cowl. You know, Cowl and Bo have their normal entendre, you know, and Bo disappears for some reason. I'm gonna go do this. Ha ha! And so, <clears throat> everybody that's in the... Darn it, my voice. Everybody that's in the throne room... <clears throat> it's not the throne room. Whatever, wherever they're at. <clears throat> I'm thinking of He-Man. Okay, King Randor and whatever else. Um, so in Etheria... In the um, Shadow Forest, they're having their conversation wherever she wrote, I mean, um, Adora hangs out. And uh, they're talking about um, some of their adventures that have happened in the season. And one of the little, I think it's the broom, Madame Raz's broom, brings up the Seahawk. And Adora is looking out the window and she's like, oh. The Seahawk. I wonder if I'll see him again. And the other characters are talking and they miss it. And then someone else says something and she's like, it would be nice to see him again. And she leaves and walks out. And so Cal says something about, I think she likes him or something. And the broom is like, what are you talking about? That'll never happen. And Madame Raz is like, oh, you never know. Oh my gosh! Things can happen! Oh my! Anyway. And then... They talk for a minute, a little bit later on in the episode. And it may have been just then, but... Madame Raz catches up to Shira, and she's like, Shira, um... You know, what's on your mind with the Seahawk? And, it, and Adora's like, well... <sighs> you know... Will, would he like me? And, and Madame Raz is like, oh, in a moment of foresight, she's like, Seahawk only oh. knows you as she, She-Ra. Would she like you as Adora? And Adora's like, well, but I just don't have the power or whatever that I do. And, uh, and Madame Raz is like, and I won't do her voice because <clears throat> it totally kill me. She's like, well, maybe you should go talk to him, okay? And this just kind of like hit, come out of the blue. I was watching it, and I'm like, oh my gosh. she has got the hots for somebody. And so later in the episode, they fight, blah, 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 blah. And of course, She-Ra is like five times stronger than Seahawk. And they have their little banter, you know, Oh, you look like, could you use my help, Seahawk? And he's like, ha, ha. He's like, I won't do his voice either. Ha, ha. Oh, She-Ra, I have it under control, you know. <clears throat> and she, like, saves his butt. <clears throat> and then they're like, farewell. And she just leaves. And he's like, hmm. And so, at the end of this episode, before the moral, you know, before the end of the story, um, 
Seahawk is just, again, looking out over the sea, kind of the same pose, like, I wonder if I'll meet Adora. And Adora walks up, and she's like, oh, Seahawk, you know, and he's like, um, oh, Adora, imagine meeting you here, of all places. And she's like, oh, I suppose you're looking for She-Ra, and, and Seahawk's like, well, actually, I'd really like to talk to you, if I may. And Adora's like, you will? Or you do? And he's like, yes, She-Ra is, is great in a fight, and I would ever find her wit. You know, she's a funny girl, but I really would like to get to know you. Maybe we could go for a walk together and, and look at the sea, you know, and they walk off together. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Anyway, so, <clears throat> the what hit me is... Okay, long, long way of six minutes of talking about this is as part of our transition. Okay, you know, here you had Shira and Adora, same person. I mean, really, okay. But the way that She-Ra talks, she's like, oh, this would be easier for Adora to do, you know, and then <clears throat> changes back. Or Adora will be with Swift Wind or whatever, and she's like, you know, this would be a, you know, She-Ra would have a much better time. And then she transforms. And so Adora, from what I've seen, and of course I've only watched like the first 16 episodes, season one, you know, they don't, she never says, I am, I will do. I, you know, she never, she keeps She-Ra and Adora separate. Even though they're the same person. You know? And like with Adam and He-Man, you know, the actor who uh, plays He-Man, you know, when he does Adam, he's like, you know, Oh, I could never do that. I'm not... I, I just want to go play with my toys, you know, and then He-Man is, you know, I'll take that Skeletor, um, you know, so I guess I don't, with Adam and He-Man, it's not like they're two separate people, it's like, I will do this, I don't know, I just saw, uh, like, a fractionization, I suppose, between C she ra and Adora. And it just kind of had me thinking today about how, you know, maybe there are people that <clears throat> I wonder, because, um, you know, there are times during the day where I feel, I thought about this today, about, you know, it's almost like my personality is on a spectrum, and there are times that I feel more like a, you know, a, a, an adolescent. <clears throat> I feel more like an adolescent girl. And there are times when I feel more like an older man. Or an older person, maybe an older woman, I don't know. But it's like, I tend to slide along that scale. You know, obviously I'm a big kid. Um, came home and, you know, put my hair up in ponytails to mess with my daughter a little bit, but... You know, I, I don't know. I just thought about if I <clears throat> got involved in a relationship with somebody, you know, could they, could they identify with that kind of sliding scale and that there are sometimes I'm going to be on this side and there are sometimes I'm going to be on this side and... <clears throat> I guess when I was married, I never thought of it that way. And, <clears throat> boy, my voice is terrible. Ah, COVID. <clears throat> I guess maybe I saw a parallel between Adora and She-Ra tonight. And it, it kind of made me think about some of the things that I've said. Because there are times that, you know, I'll 
be by myself and I'll be in the elevator and something will happen and without really thinking about it I just I'm like you know well I'm glad it doesn't happen to me and then I catch myself and I'm like you know I don't I I just want to be who I am and I guess I feel like I go back and forth and it's hard with my voice with kind of the COVID thing because you know by the end of the day I just it hurts and um, I feel like I haven't reached my full potential yet and there are times too with my daughter <sighs> you know it's I get pulled back into being fatherish parentish and it's it's kind of a pull it kind of a give and a take <coughs> pardon me banana 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 it's my word banana you know it's kind of like I'm still finding a, a, a happy medium for it now I won't be as <clears throat> I think fractionated as a door in Shira, but I don't know, I'm kinda of playing with the idea. Just thinking about it. I don't know, when I watched the episode I was like you know, if if they had gotten into a romantic relationship, we'll take this to the next level. And um you know assuming that Seahawk would become someone that Adora would be romantically involved with how would she how would she say I'm She-Ra? You know at some point the the <clears throat> at some point the gag kind of runs afoul. You know it's always like ah oh, She-Ra where's Adora? Oh she's safe. You know, she'll meet you in the forest. And at some point in that relationship, Adora and She-Ra are going to have to, you know, come together. You would think. You know, and I guess if Seahawk loved them both. Mm, be still my heart. Oh, he was so cute. He was like... Put his arm, or put his arm on his shoulder. It's like, but Adora, I want to be with you. Oh, oh! Take me away, Seahawk. Take me on your flying ship. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, it's a good episode. It's late. It's one a.m. Should we be in bed, but. I always fall asleep earlier than I wake up and I can't go to sleep. So anyway, I will be quiet now. I wish you the best of luck <clears throat> in becoming your authentic self. And I will press on in my endeavors. <sighs> I, have, I just this warm feeling for Adora and the Seahawk. Oh, Adora. Let me show you my dinghy. <laughs> oh dear. Isn't life a treat? Alright. Well, till next time. Bye.